Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good to see you. Well, some of you, or good to see your photos. Okay, turn on your cameras. Be ready. Hi, Selma. Welcome. Hi, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Ahora sí, good to see you. So how was your day? Great, and you? Also, I think today was good. Not great, but good. <laughs> Okay, ready for the attendance. Jocelyn. Hi, teacher. Okay. <coughs> Kande. Mm -hmm. Okay. Karen. Karen Xiomara. Karina Yasmin. Carla Melissa. I'm here. Okay. Catherine Stephanie. Present. Okay. Leslie. Present. Teacher, puedo tener la cámara apagada. Me, este, me duele un poco la vista, ando un poco de migraña y a veces me, no puedo estar viendo la pantalla. Okay. Puedo estar de oyente. Ok. Ok, Jocelyn. Please, Beth. I'm here, teacher. Ok, Lucía. Present teacher. Great. Luz Virginia. Luz Virginia. Can you hear me, Luz? Well, I see you, but probably you cannot hear me. Margarita. Present teacher. Okay. Maria de Los Angeles. Present teacher. Okay. Martin. No yet. Meili. Present miss. Okay. Melissa Guadalupe. Sir. Okay. Michelle Beatriz. Present. Great. Michelle, no, usted es Rody. Michelle Beatriz. Yes. Yes, you. Pero tiene otro nombre. Raúl. Raúl. Raúl, no here. Roberto Carlos. No yet. Only women in the class today. No, I'm here, you know. Ah, yes, no. Roberto Eduardo, Roberto Eduardo. <laughs> yeah, sorry. present, present. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Only one. Uh, only, only one man. Blessed between the, between yeah, the women. Yeah. I feel so great right now. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm present. I'm here. Okay. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. Aquí como está bien calladito por eso. Rodi Dalila. Present. Okay. Ahora sí. Sandra Maritza. No yet. Ah, I see. Yes. Allá los lejitos. Voy a dar volumen. Selma. Present. Okay. Stephanie. Stephanie Abigail. Victoria. Present. Okay. Okay. So I was saying yesterday that today's topic uh, will be quantifiers. Okay, vamos a hablar este día acerca de los quantifiers. And okay, quantifiers are words that we use to answer the questions how much or how many Uy, sorry my sorry sorry okay so if if we want to to talk about a specific and a specific number um, regard, regarding to something, okay, we use quantifiers to 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 specific uh, a quantity, okay, how much or how many of something do you have, okay, in order to uh, use a quantifier, okay, you are going to use depending or according to the noun, okay, el, eh, el quantifier eh, puede variar, obviamente, dependiendo de la cantidad, but also depending if the noun is countable or non-countable, okay, entonces, um, Tenemos acá, these are the most common, okay, the most common quantifiers. And here we have, if we can use it with countable nouns or uncountable nouns. In some cases, we can use it in both cases, okay, with countable and uncountable. Okay, but some of them, we can use them only with countable or only with uncountable nouns. Okay, for example, little. Okay, little, the meaning is a small quantity. Okay, a small quantity or a minor quantity. And little, we cannot use it with countable nouns, only with uncountable. Okay, but if, if we are going to talk about something that it's countable, well, let's say an example with little. Okay, for example, uh, how much water do you drink during the day? Okay, and you can say I drink, uh, little water, okay, or a little of water, okay, a small quantity. So we use little, but if we are going to talk about something that you can count, for example, um, how, how many eggs 
do you eat during the week? For example, okay, you can tell me, I eat a few eggs during the week. Okay, entonces uno lo utilizamos para uncountables, que sería little, y el otro lo vamos a utilizar siempre con el mismo significado, refiriéndonos a una small quantity, okay, pero con countable nouns. Eso sería para indicar pequeñas cantidades. But if the case is that we have a large number or we have um, a, a great amount of something, okay, we are going to use a lot. Okay, it could, it's like the opposite of a little. Okay, few little is the opposite of a lot. Okay, a lot, large quantities. And a lot could be used in both cases. Okay, countable and non-countable. Then we have many, okay, which is also like very, okay, or, um, uh, it, but it, it's very, but it's not too much. Okay, sería un poquito menos que a lot, pero siempre en grandes cantidades. And this, we are going to use it with countable, many. Okay, for example, how many girlfriends do you have, Roberto? Uh, right now, I have only one. <laughs> only one, okay. <laughs> yeah. Too many is, I got a problem, you know? <laughs> yes, <Yeah>. correct. <laughs> Only one is enough. <laughs> yes, more yeah. than enough. More than enough, yeah, that's all. Okay, and with non-countable, okay, non-countable, we are going to use much, much. Okay, how? Much. Y si se fijan, lo utilizamos también para nuestra pregunta. ¿Verdad? Yo le pregunté, how many girlfriends? Okay, and the noun will be in plural. Así como eh, estuvimos practicando con eh, are there or is there. Okay, entonces también acá este lo vamos a relacionar con singular en plural, en referencia a los nouns que vamos a utilizar o acerca de los que vamos a preguntar. Entonces, en este caso, much, okay, it would be something that you cannot count. And, uh, we, uh, for example, how, how much work did you do today? Victoria. Repeat, please, teacher. Excuse me. How much work did you do today? Very hard. Okay. Very, very much. Okay. Okay, very much. Okay. Then we have it. Okay, these three two large quantities, but a lot, it's more, okay, it's more. Then we have any, any, it's like zero or never. ¿Se recuerdan que estuvimos hablando también de los, um, oh, se me ha ido el nombre, que estuvimos hablando de los porcentajes, frequency adverbs. Okay, entonces, any, it's the same as said never. Okay, zero quantity. Okay, that you don't have it. And this will be used with countable or non-countable. Then we have lots of, lots of, okay, which is the same meaning of a lot of. Okay, a lot of. And also, 
It could be used in both cases. And then we have some. Okay, some, it's for a specific number. Se recuerdan que eso también ya lo habíamos visto, ya se los había comentado, que some lo vamos a utilizar in general, right? Cuando no decimos two, three, one, sino que in general. Y se puede utilizar in both cases, countable and non-countable. Okay, hasta el momento, do you have questions? Be honest. No? Okay, these are the most common, but there are more quantifiers. Okay, but these are the most common, and I think on the video and in your material, you have only, only these quantifiers. But because you are good students, I bring to you others. Okay, the, the, um, these are more quantifiers that you can use. Okay. Uh, Y aquí dice, obviamente, que los podemos utilizar eh, con, con, los, con, con noun phrases o con persons. Y aquí tenemos cuáles podemos utilizar with countable nouns. A majority of, for example, um, a majority of students come on time every day. A number of, several, many, a large number of, a few, few, very few, a great number of. Okay, todos estos los utilizamos con contables. With non-countable, much, a bit, a great deal of, a large quantity of, a large amount of, a little, little, very little. Y acá tenemos in both cases, countable and non-countable. Enough, all, more, most, less, least. No, none, any, not any, some, plenty of, and lot of. Y eso se pueden utilizar en ambos casos. Ok, questions? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, what does mean plenty of? Plenty of. It's yeah. a great quantity, many. How many? Uh, yes, like more than enough, more than enough. Oh, more than enough. And, yes. uh, okay, and let me see, and a uh, great deal of? Great deal that of. Is, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Uh, uh, it's like, uh, uh, oh. we, do you have like a variety? Como hasta de donde escoger, o sea, tiene de diferente. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. a, oh, okay. a variety. A variety. Ah, oh, okay. O sea, yeah. que tiene bastante. Okay. That, oh, okay. That's for, for large quantities. For large, large. quantities. Okay. Okay. More questions? No? Okay, so let's do some exercises. Come on, my questions. Are you sure you don't have questions? Ah, antes de los exercises, vamos a ver. ¿Cómo vamos a identificar si nuestro noun es countable o es uncountable? ¿Ok? Porque nos va a poner a hacer los ejercicios sin antes explicarles eso. Ok. If the name is countable 
obviously you can count. Okay, you can count it. If, for example, one apple, two apples, uh, one picture, three pictures, okay, a hundred, um, okay, a hundred cars, okay, that's the first, the first characteristic. Then, if the word or if the noun can take singular and plural forms or verbs. For example, there is a book on the table, okay, singular. Those houses are very big, aren't they? Okay, plural. Entonces, si el noun tiene una forma plural, okay, obviously, you can count it. Um, for example, let's see, uh, water. ¿Cuál sería la forma plural de water? Yes. Rain. Rain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> waters. We can say waters. No, right. We cannot say it. Okay. It doesn't have a plural form. Okay. No, no, no a todas lo, no a todos los a todos los nombres vamos a poder solamente agregar el es o es dependiendo. Que eso ya lo vieron, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo, cómo hacer un nombre plural. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok. Entonces, no a todos los, no todos los nombres vamos a poder agregarle la es para hacerlo singular o la es, depending on the case. Ok. Entonces, if we cannot, can add the S or the ES, okay, it's non-contable. Then, dice que podemos utilizarlo con A, AN, THE, MY, okay, in singular. Um, for example, if I use A or AN, uh, how, uh, how many, or what is the meaning of that? What is the number or the quantity if I use a or an? Yes, Kande. Hey, these are basic questions. Are you sleepy today? Are you too tired? Can you repeat, please, the question? Okay. If I use a, or if I say, uh, she bought an umbrella, I eat a banana. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Is... What? Is when the words empieza con una vocal que es eh, que suena a, ah, por eso se, se, se dice an. Es como mm -hmm. an umbrella, an um, apple. Uh, yes. And according to the quantity, ¿qué canti ¿a qué cantidad hace referencia? One. A one. Only one, correct. Entonces, si utilizamos o si nuestro noun lleva uno de estos artículos antes del noun, okay, eso significa que también es contable. It's contable. Okay. Okay. Porque okay, eso, eso, le, 
Eso les va a ayudar a identificar, porque muchas veces usted no va a saber, o sea, no, no va a saber qué es lo que significa el, el nombre que está ahí. Pero estas no. pistas le pueden ayudar a identificar si es contable o no contable y ya con eso usted puede armar la respuesta. Ok. Ok, y luego dice, can be used alone with some, any, many, few in the plural. Ok, for example, I love carrots. Ok, entonces ahí en la forma plural dice que obviamente no necesita el a o an because it's plural. Ok, pero podemos eh, utilizarlo eh, without, ok, without. Y okay, eso sería para, para identificar que algo es contable. Luego, we have, ¿cómo vamos a saber if the noun is uncountable? Okay, obviously, if we cannot count. Okay, for example, you are not going to count the sugar. Okay, eh, una por una por una, okay, you cannot count. Okay, you don't have time to count the sugar or information. How are you going to count the information? You cannot count it because you cannot touch it. Oh, well, you can touch it, but you need uh, something. But if somebody speak the information to you, say the information to you, you cannot count the, the, the quantity of, of information that you got, okay, the water, okay. Uh, in general, things that are liquid, like water, juice, soda, um, all the liquids, in general, they are non-contable, non okay? non-contable. Understanding, que okay? también eh, cosas que son, eh, ¿cómo se dice? You cannot tell, you cannot touch, Or see, ¿cómo se llaman ese tipo de cosas? No que no se pueden Intangible. ver. Intangibles. Yes. Intangibles. Yes, yes, correct. Y por lo general las cosas intangibles no se pueden contar. Okay, you cannot, non, you, you cannot count the love, the hate. Okay, esas cosas no se pueden contar. Then we have always take singular verb. Siempre utiliza eh, la forma en singular, o sea que no tiene plural. Okay. Obviamente, como no tiene plural, we are going to use the singular form. Y en algunas um, eh, eh, en algunas ocasiones también hay eh, excepciones de plurales, ¿verdad? Que no solamente es agregando la S, sino que tiene una forma especial para hacer la plural form. Por ejemplo, fish, we cannot say fishes. Okay? Fish is the same in singular and in plural. Okay, then we have do not go with a and to, etc. Okay, ahí no, no podemos utilizar esos artículos o números. Okay, can you hear music? Okay, uh, can be used alone or with some, any, much, little. Okay, there is little information about the weather. Y okay, dice que en este caso se puede utilizar con o sin. Ok. Uh, ah, no, sería lo contrario. Que eh, can be used alone or with some. Ajá, uh -huh, yes. And the last one. Can use a and want to with coffee uh, when we talk about uh, containers. Que okay, lo que les mencionaba de los liquids. Que okay, we can measure, we can measure the water, we can measure the milk, 
but we cannot count it. Okay? No la podemos contar, pero sí la podemos medir. Pero para medirla necesitamos un container. Por ejemplo, a cup, a glass, a jar. Okay? I need something to put the liquid in. And then I can measure. And then I can count it. Que okay, luego de que la haya colocado en, en un container, por ejemplo, a can of soda. Ahí sí. Pero no puedo decir, I, um, I drink a water. Or I drink two waters this day. Okay, I cannot say that. Okay, I need to, to add the container. I drink two glasses of water. Y ahí sí, ya puedo contarlo. Porque estoy utilizando un container, un contenedor, algo que me va a ayudar a medirlo y a contarlo. Yes? La arena del tiempo. Questions? Las arenas. Las arenas del mar o la arena del mar. The sand, that's non-contable. Correct. It's non-contable. Okay. You cannot count. You cannot count the sand. Las rocas de la erupción o la roca de la erupción. The rocks. Rocks, yes. You can count. You can count. Okay, for example, spaghetti. In food, we have uh, a lot of food that we cannot count. For example, spaghetti. Yeah. Bread. Bread, correct. Bread. What else? Rice. Rice. What else? Soup. Soup. Salt, sugar, flour, okay. oil. oil, excellent, correct. Okay, now, you got it? Questions? No? No. Really? Okay. So Do you like horchata? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Teacher and the water. The? The water. The weather, uncountable. You cannot count the weather. Okay, so let's do the exercises. Ah, oh, sorry. Mm, here. Hey, ¿no me han mandado el ejercicio de ayer? El que les mandé yo. Ya se les van a acumular, ve. Con... Ahora les voy a mandar eso. Muy bien, sí. dice, you are going to write C for countable or U for uncountable. Ok, let's do only the first part. Okay, bread, countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Okay. Water, uncountable. Apple, countable. Countable. Rice, uncountable. Potato, uncountable. Banana, uncountable. Sugar, Uncountable. 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 Burger. Uncountable. Uh, yes. Biscuit. Uncountable. It's rare because bread is non countable, but biscuit, yes. It has a plural form. Biscuits. Okay, it has plural form. Mm -hmm. Carrot. Mm -hmm. 
Contable. 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 Ah, sí, dije que solo la primera. La esa les queda a ustedes. Ok, then we are going to use there is or there are. Ok, tell me for the first. There is. There is. Ok. Some sugar. There are. There are. There are. Why? ¿Por qué? Sugar is uncountable. And sugar is plural. Is Vaya, ¿se recuerdan que? Because sugar is uncountable. Correct. Dice que siempre va a tomar los verbos en singular. Mire, entonces no puedo decir are porque ese es un verbo para plural. Siempre vamos a tomar a tomarlo como las cosas incontables las vamos a tomar en forma singular. ¿Eh? Entonces, ¿cómo sería? There is. There is. is correct. There is. Okay, some carrots. There is. There are. Yes, there are. A banana. There is. 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 Y luego dice que vamos a completar con a, an, and some. Ok, we are going to add it. This is short. Ok, in my fridge, there are some, some eggs. Eggs. Ajá. Uh, meat. Uh, meat. A meat, it's countable or uncountable? Ajá, entonces, ¿cuál voy a usar? It's non countable. ¿Qué voy a usar entonces? Som. Som. Porque si yo utilizo a o al, o sea, estoy diciendo solo es una cosa y estoy diciendo como que pudiera contar esa cosa. ¿Okay? Entonces no puedo utilizarlo con incontables. ¿Okay? Tomatoes. A, an, or some. Some. Como que an. Some. No puedo usar a o an porque es para singular. Y tomatoes está en plural. Ajá. Ok. Eso me dijo. Y me dijo de que. A carrot. Teacher, tal vez este pedirle a las personas que están con los familiares ahí de que no dejen escuchar, yo creo que no se escucha muy bien. Se escucha más la conversación pues de la familia que de, de la clase. Por eso el uso de audífonos es bien importante, porque sí. yo casi no oigo. Ok, thank you. Yes, some because it's uncountable. And the last one. Some. A bottle of wine. A bottle, yes, a bottle. 
aquí como está utilizando el container, we can use a. Ok, los demás les quedan a ustedes. Ahorita les mando el link. Me Nada más sure. que ese link a dónde lo está mandando. Ajá, porque ayer ah, no le iba a preguntar. Porque ayer no ha llegado nada a nadie. Por eso no le hemos hecho. No se los mandé aquí al chat de Zoom. No. No, 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 no lo vimos. No lo mandó. No lo mandó. Yo, yo estuve revisando y nada. En el chat el de, la, de Zoom lo envió el día de ayer. Pero... Yo ya no lo pude resolver porque estaba en el teléfono de mi esposo. Entonces ya no pude resolverlo para enviárselo a ti. Ok. Sería bueno que al WhatsApp no los enviara. Hay más ¿sabes? facilidad para entrar. Yo no lo vi en Zoom. Ok, ahorita se, ahorita se los envié. Vale, voy a... Ay, lo que pasa es que me tengo que conectar al WhatsApp web. Pero no ajá, yo se los reenvío. Ok, thank you. Y les voy a enviar el de ayer también. Sí, un teacher no en, mi, en el chat del Zoom. Yo lo voy a copiar y de ahí lo comparto en el grupo. Ah, sí, excellent. Sí. Thank you. Yes, it's better. Okay. So. Okay, now let's do the exercise from the platform. Okay, ¿cómo van con la platform? Adelantados. Mire, yo voy yo... al día, Miss. Okay. Con la lección de la semana y ya tengo que empezar el examen de acá. Ah, the midterm. Okay, ya, the pues, midterm. Ya, lo, ya lo empezaron a hacer. No, pero ya estoy por iniciar. Ok. Muy bien, preguntas acerca de how much and how many. Ah, aquí vamos a hacer estos ejercicios. Wait. This one. Mm. Muy bien, dice, write answers to these questions about your neighborhood. Okay, number one, are there many apartment buildings? Who want to answer? Yes, there are many apartment buildings. Okay, yes, there are many. Muy bien, mire, vamos a tratar de utilizar quantifiers. Okay, quantifiers. Okay, yes, there are many. Yes, there are many apartment buildings. Okay, number two, how much traffic is there? Virginia? Yes, uh, there is a lot. There is a lot of traffic. There is a, a lot, lot of traffic. traffic. Okay. Okay. Number three. How many dance clubs are there? ¿Qué será para Roberto? Bueno, pero se la vamos a preguntar a... A ver, ¿qué se me hizo? A Roberto Carlos, how many dance clubs are there in are your there neighborhood? Any? I feel I feel how, how many? How many? Quantity? Number? Um, number, okay. Maybe Three. Ok, entonces, there are. Ay, que se, no estuve en la clase de ayer. Sí, pero solo de oyente. Hmm. 
Entonces, ahí vamos a utilizar, yes, there are three dance clubs okay. in my neighborhood, por ejemplo. Game number four, Lucia. Is there much noise in your neighborhood? Uh, there are not noise. It's very quiet. Okay. ¿Cuál sería un quantifier para decir que no hay? No one. Mm. Any. Any. There is any noise in my neighborhood. Okay. Okay. Acuérdense yeah. los, los quantifiers que vimos ahora. Number five. Eh, Karina. Are there many payphones around your neighborhood? Michelle? Selma? Me desconecté. What happened? <laughs> Are you there? Sí me oyen, right? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Uh, uh. I can't hear. Only the classmates. Okay. Uh, Margarita? Uh, yes, there are some payphones. Okay, yes, there are some. Excellent. Number six, Carla Melissa. Is there much pollution in your neighborhood? Carla? Tampoco. Leslie? Leslie? María de Los Ángeles? Okay. Uh, yes. Yes, what? Somebody. Uh, there is a little pollution. But my question is, uh, I'm using much. Uh, much is a big quantity and little is a small quantity. Okay, is there much pollution in your neighborhood? No, there isn't many pollution. No, there isn't. Uh, más, más, más. Bueno, en, el, bueno, en el caso que, eh, el mismo caso que vimos anteriormente, si vamos a decir que no hay, o sea, que no hay, o que no hay mucha, sería, ¿cuál sería la respuesta? ¿Que no hay o que no hay mucha? Que no hay mucha. Que no hay mucha. Que no hay mucha. Que no hay mucha. Ok. Eh, no, sería no. There isn't much pollution. O podemos utilizar también algo que, ref, que haga referencia a una small quantity. Okay, puedo, puedo decir. For example. Ajá. Disculpa, señor, pero. Ah. This is the question, sorry. Ajá, ok. For example. Eh, no. no. Uh, and there, the, uh, is there much pollution in your neighborhood? No, uh, there is a little, uh, there a little pollution in my neighborhood. Uh, okay, entonces mi respuesta fue incorrecta por la pregunta que Ajá. usted estaba haciendo. Eh, primero porque me, eh, si yo pregunto con con mush, you have to answer with mush. O sea, no okay. puedo, si yo, pregu vale, si yo pregunto, 
si la pregunta es, eh, eh, is there much? Okay, yo no puedo, no puedo responder. Eh, eh, no, there isn't many. Porque la pregunta era con much. Ok, entonces, oh, okay. Ajá, esa es una. Lo otro es que si yo voy a contestar en negativo, ok, eh, necesito utilizar un quantifier que, eh, que, que esté haciendo referencia a que no hay o que hay poca. Entonces, digamos que es, eh, mm, tendría, si no hay, dijimos que vamos a utilizar any. Pero si había poco, ok, vamos a utilizar little. Ok, little. En el caso de, de la pollution, que sería uncountable. Yes, ahora okay, sí. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Yes. Number seven. How many swimming pools are in your neighborhood? Yes. Yes. yes, there are many swimming pools. Okay. Vale, lo mismo, iríamos, iríamos a lo mismo. Ok, si sí, yo puedo contestar usando many, pero eh, tengo que especificar la, como la, 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 qué tanto. O sea, que, que... Vale, la idea, recuerde que es utilizar quantifiers. Entonces, si, si hay y hay bastantes, entonces puedo utilizar un cuantificador que denote que hay una gran cantidad. Yes, uh, there are a lot of swimming pools in my neighborhood. Ok. No sé si, si me comprenden. O sea, no se limiten a contestar solamente con el much o con el many, sino que traten de aplicar los otros cuantificadores que son como más específicos. Yes. The number. Or the number. Yes, if you know the number, you can say the number. All yes, there are three, three swimming pools in my neighborhood. In my neighborhood. Okay, yes. And the last one, is there much parking uh, near your neighborhood, Jocelyn? Dígame, teacher. Is there much parking near your neighborhood? Um, mm, sería, permítame. Uh, there is not much. ¿Cuál vamos, o sea, cuál de los cuantificadores vamos a utilizar para, para decir que hay pocos? Ah, bueno, yo puse que no había. <ríe> ah, para ah, poco no, sería. Vaya. Si ajá. no había, ajá, ¿cuál vamos a utilizar entonces para de decir que no hay? Si, eh, para, si es para poco, sería el libro. En este caso, como los parkings, si son contables, ¿qué? Okay, tendría que ser a uh, few. Uh, few. There are a few parking lots. Around my neighborhood. Uh, there are. Mm -hmm. Ok. Porque Pero sería sí. contable. Porque sería contable. Vale, entonces, si se fijan, aquí son como varias cosas las que tienen que tomar en cuenta para las respuestas. Pr primero, identificar si es contable o no contable. Ok, el noun. Segundo, su respuesta, dependiendo de la cantidad que ustedes van a responder, así va a ser el cuantificador que van a utilizar. ¿Ok? Todo eso tienen que, o sea, practicarlo. Here it's easy. ¿Ok? When you see it. But when you say it or when you practice, 
Okay, or when you're thinking, okay, probably it doesn't come to your mind like that. Okay, so you have to practice. Miss, I have a question. Yes. Uh, with parking, because mm -hmm. parking, uh, I, I, uh, no, I, ah, parking. yes, it's uh, uncountable. Because it's exactly. Uh -huh. Yes, I use parking it's lots. Yes, I use parking lots. Sorry. Okay, parking okay. lots, yes, but parking in general, yes, non countable. Correct. Yes, okay. Maybe. Thank you. Okay, so um, do you think it's clear how to use uh, the quantifiers? Into it's clear for me it's a little bit clear you know but i think i uh i know uh which one is uncountable and which one is on un uncountable and uh, uncountable i mean so i think I understand, you know, just uh, I have a problem when when I have to use uh, the R, you know, the R is countable, right? Countable. In, in, um, in plural, if you're answering in plural. In plural. Uh -huh. Okay. For example, yes, there are uh, many pay phones. Okay. In plural and countable. Okay. So I think I got it. You know? you know, I, I need to. I, I need to practice, practice more. more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. Yes, mm. that's right. You have to practice. Mm. Okay, so let's. Yes. Uh, I uh, have uh, a question. Yes, yes, Victoria. La plataforma, la pregunta de de la contaminación. Eh, dice there is eh, a little pollution y el tráfico es countable o no countable uncountable the traffic uncountable porque eh. es how much how much traffic sería no contable y el otro que dijo al, de, al principio cuál era pollution pollution también es no contable Uncountable. Puedo decir there is a little traffic. There is a little uh -huh. traffic. Little, yes. Yes, there is little traffic in my neighborhood. No sé si, perdón, Lick, eh, teacher, no le entendí ahí en, en cuanto a lo que es el traffic, si es conta, contable o no. No contable, no, no. contable. Ah, pero existen lo que es los mecanismos para poder contarlo, si es contable. Porque incluso las, las, los grandes mercados ponen lo que es ese aparatos en las calles y ahí cuentan lo que es la cantidad de vehículos que pasan de tal hora a tal hora y todo eso. But Digo, they count the cars. Decirlo, de esa forma, but they count the cars. Okay, in that case, mm -hmm. for example, in this case, sería how many buses uh, are passing by the street? Okay, mm -hmm. and the buses are countable, and the cars mm -hmm. are countable, but the traffic is not countable. Mm -hmm. okay. Es que como lo maneja Roberto. Solo en medidas, creo. Siento que me costó a mí con el pan porque yo no entendía por qué el pan no puede ser contable. Si sí, yo me como bueno, nosotros pan, en la cena, Exacto. ¿por qué no se puede contar? Exacto. Ajá, yes. But you can, uh, you can measure, okay, two slices of bread. Okay, ahí sí. Pero en general, you cannot count. Okay, okay solo vamos, voy a revisar. No, I don't know if, do you have more questions? 
or teacher uh, uh, teacher just uh, when you get time can you send a link you know uh, the for comp uh, para complementar este el, el, mm -hmm. from yesterday and from today okay yes a boat boat yes boat i will send okay. it to you <laughs> yes. <All right. laughs> okay thank you okay karen xiomara Karina Yasmin. Here, teacher. Present teacher. Mm. Michelle Beatriz. Present. Raúl. Roberto Carlos. Present. Stephanie. No, Stephanie Abigail. Ok, ellos serían los que habían faltado y los demás ya les había tomado la asistencia. Y so that we build for today. See you tomorrow. Don't miss the class. Okay, see you. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, have a good night, everyone. Good night. Take that rest. Bye bye. Bye. Teacher, entonces se nos va a facilitar el link en el WhatsApp. Sí, o ya se lo, quedamos ya se en los espera. Mando. Ya se los mando. Ahora, Dos. Ya se los mando. Uh -huh. Ah, va, ok. Thank you. Buenas eh, noches. Yes, I will send it to you. Good bye. night, teacher. Good night, bye. bye. Good night, teacher. Bye, bye. bye. See you tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow.